Dear Abu Bakar Shakao, leader of the Boko Haram, your taken name Darul Tahid means one with Allah, so I have some questions. When did the Quran become misogynistic? Where did Allah misplace his manners? How did you turn the most perfect in faith amongst believers is he who is best in manners and kindness to his wife and to rape their women? The Allah I know says seeking knowledge is mandatory for every believer. How did you take man from every and leave women out? Did your father beat you so badly that your eyes cross when you read the words love mankind that it look like hate all women? Does the word rape have some secret taste the rest of us don't know about? Something that makes it taste like manna in the mouth, like candy on the tongue of the babies you Still, did someone hit you in the ear? Warp your tympani until you confuse the heartbeats of scared girls for drums, the screams of death throats for symphonic, for melody. So we sang this melody. Can you hear that? The vibration of Allah and God both clearing their throats, finally setting their differences aside long enough to look for you. How does it feel to have the gaze of the gods and the women that birthed them all turned towards you? A thousand suns and a million moons all seek your shadow, thirst a desire to eclipse you and send you supernova. Millions of black American girls sitting in class, heads cocked to the east, sniffing the air for a scent of your path of destruction. Where will you hide now? The water has breasts and locks. The ground is brown like the skin of the girls you steal in the name of a god who never asked you for help in the first place. Even the planet is called Mother Earth. Your caves you hide in are nothing more than one of her many mouths, and you are nothing but a rotted tooth, begging for shelter while stabbing her in the tongue all at once. May the mothers of the men who would even think to buy a girl for sex or marriage or anything except to set them free, find their unworthy sons, cut out their reproductive organs and cast them in the dirt. May your own daughter one day teach a classroom full of girls the parable of the man who thought himself God, how he thought Heaven waited for him on the other side, only to find out heaven is full of women with sharpened teeth and swords, eager to teach him how to sing, how to hit the high notes. How dare you turn Allah does not look at your pictures and bodies, but he looks at your hearts and your deeds into 276 girls captive, hundreds dead, hundreds more missing. Donald Sterling is on the white courtesy phone. Rush Limbaugh wants to have you out for dinner. Winnie Mandela has shaved her head and taped down her breast just so she can look you in the eye when the knife slides in. Miriam is clearing her throat. Nina has sent the Warning shot Mississippi got damn like an arrow into a heart of darkness. A million girls just cracked open a book to read it. Lick a shot. Dominic has picked up a fire pin. Sonny is praying. And Phyllis and Teresa and Shyla and Ashley and Aaron and Mahogany and Falu and Aretha and Gladys and Patty and Nikki and they aren't coming for you. They're breathing life into your mother's bones, bringing her back to your room, back to where your bullets don't pierce. Your words have no ears to fall upon your mother. And the mothers and daughters of the men who follow you are outside your door, inside your home, sitting on your chest as you sleep. You have stolen girls, but you cannot steal a spirit. And what is a woman if not a spirit? So do not call on God or Allah for help. They know better than to get in the way of a woman with the Milky Way for a belt and the cosmos for you to dance in. May she whip you with the ferocity only a mother can. May she love you to your senses in the way only a woman can so we can sing your melody of revenge. Ed Mabry. Nine point three.